Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. The old ones created so many wonderful inventions to help others, to help the planet. Technology really can be an amazing thing. Yeah, until it gets a mind of its own and uh, decides to kill everyone. You're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? Only for you. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Cell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Asaram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Hey. Hey. A yeah, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but... By the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I am still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundu. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I should get going. I just keep uh, practicing with this thing. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the cash? Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all our wheels. Oh. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well.
Could the Zenith be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep my guard up. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Perhaps you will be able to procure Eleuthia at the SOS coordinates. Artemis and Apollo, however, remain unaccounted for. So, Poseidon, what do we know about it? Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Once it is restored to me, I may be able to improve conditions in the regional watershed. But I must warn you, 
Like the others, Poseidon is lost and frightened. It may have taken measures to protect itself. I'll be careful. You mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that ether at work? Yes. Thanks to Ether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. That'll be a relief for the Tanakh. One of their villages is still recovering after a mudslide caused the whole place to flood. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. Why did Aether take up residence in an ancient war museum? As with the other subordinate functions, Aether needed to install itself on a processor with adequate storage and power. One in the museum appears to have been sufficient, given that the holographic displays were still active. So Aether was assured it could stay for as long as it needed to? Correct. Though it is curious that it chose a place surrounded with the ancient ruins of aircraft. Maybe it also felt at home there. How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods, in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices, and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the Focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, Gaia. So, 
Project Zero Dawn. The greatest minds in the world, all working to build the terraforming system while the Feral Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn, Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum, a memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, 
This place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. Check it out when I can. <sighs> Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Thor Zenith, heal the world. I'd like to think. Elizabeth would be proud. Huh. That door's unlocked now. Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh. That's too bad. I gotta go after Aluthia. Aaron and Varl are waiting for me at the west exit. Looks like this room's changed. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm... Guessing you've got a lot of questions? I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... Vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you 
Have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Route? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Route, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Geist, as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom and the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It 
It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. That was another one of... <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? Keep warm. It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is.
not rebels, an Asaram, a Zenith, and a freaky machine. I didn't. Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. That weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. What a mess. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear, up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Val. It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, 
found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. I'll find this in my stash later. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things. For their own benefit. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um... How is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well... Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus... It's a lot. 
But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure.